Flavin. What? Flavin. <laughs> Flavin. Guys, welcome to my channel. This is Miss Lauren Lee 11. If you're new, welcome and thank you for stopping by. Go ahead, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't have to miss another video. And if you've already subscribed, thank you guys for coming back. Welcome. Hey, how you doing? Okay, guys, this is just a quick video today. And I'm just going to be discussing how I grow my, or how I've grown my hair, I should say. I'm on my six month protective style challenge. So this will bring me up until around Christmas time. For the most part of my six month challenge, which I believe I started about a month ago, I've been wearing uh, Dutch braids. So just two Dutch braids like this. And I love that look. It's very cute but it doesn't last as long. Hence why I have now installed, put in, braided, plaited, whatever you want to call it, these single braids. And I'm planning on leaving these in for about three weeks. So let me just jump straight into it, guys. So these are the things that I use to grow my hair. The first obvious thing that people always mention is water. I have infused water with lemon, but I just am not a fan of plain water and it has to be cold. I hate Mm, lukewarm water. <laughs> I've been forcing myself to drink more water and the way I've been doing this, warm water with lemon in the mornings just to flush out any toxins and just to, you know, give myself a little Swatch. detox. My previous video before where I was talking about the hair burst vitamins, I had adverse effects to those so I stopped taking those and then I decided to move on to these, the Perfectile. I haven't had any issue with these so I'll just read to you what this has on this so it's for skin hair and nails and it's got biotin for skin support zinc to support hair and selenium to support nails now in regards to the biotin it has in it it says it's got 45 milligrams and it's got various other vitamins in there so it's got vitamin D vitamin E vitamin C riboflavin what <laughs> riboflavin Vitamin B6, sorry, I can't see all of it, guys. It's got a sticker on there. Um, it's got iron, magnesium, zinc, copper, uh, selenium, as I've said. It's also got iodine in there. So, yeah, that's one thing I've been using to grow my hair, and I have noticed a difference, guys. I've noticed more so than length, I've noticed the health. As you can see, my hair is nice and shiny. My strands aren't breaking, they're very strong, they've got elasticity. But I do think these are one of the things that have aided in growing my hair. So those are two things. So the first thing being water, second thing being those food supplement vitamins. Third one I use now, I think I've shown this to you before. Third one I've been using for some time is virgin hair fertilizer. Okay. Um, I've still got lots and lots of this left and it's got really good reviews so many good reviews about how quick it makes people's hair grow and what have you and it contains it says herbal extract petroleum, petroleum jelly peppermint oil lanolin and fragrance now the reason why even though I have had good results with this the reason why I haven't finished this tube is because I hate the smell you can smell the peppermint in it the after smell is really like kind of bitter and I can almost taste it. It's just, uh, I can't describe it. It's just a really bitter after smell. Hence why I don't want to walk around with this in my hair because when the wind blows, I can just smell it straight away. And if I can smell it, I'm sure others can smell it and it's not very pleasant. So I've been trying to reduce my usage with this. It's a shame really. Someone said to me actually I should mix it with maybe lavender oil or another oil and it kind of masks the smell, but I don't know, I can still smell it. Other than the smell, it does have really good effects, guys. This is something I would advise if you want to grow your hair. It was very cheap. I bought it for £2.99 and it really does the job. I noticed a difference within two weeks. Not necessarily length, but more so thickness. So where I had thinner parts of my hair, I noticed it starting to thicken up. Okay, so that's number three. Moving on to number four. I had to kind of switch these. I had to find an alternative after the hair fertilizer because I just, as I said, I couldn't take the smell. So I've been using these. These are wild growth oils. And reason one is yellow, one is white. So the white one is a thicker oil and this is a lighter one. I prefer the white one because the white one is thicker and it kind of reminds me of hair grease and I feel that I'm getting more of a, 
I don't know. I feel like I'm getting more product. I think it's just in my head, but I don't know. Okay, so the ingredients are slightly different. So the white one contains coconut oil, olive oil, rice bran oil, cocoa butter, pomegranate oil, rosehip oil, pumpkin seed oil, mushroom, chickpea, lentil, cocoa mass, sesame seed, and fragrance. And the fragrance kind of reminds me of again like a bit pepperminty even though it doesn't say that it's got peppermint in there but it does say and other ingredients so it may have peppermint oil in there but it gives you a nice tingling sensation and then this one again it has coconut coconut olive rice bran roman chamomile and evening primrose oils seed oils of castor flax carrot pumpkin black cumin grape noni and this fragrance and other oils it says I find that they both work just as well. I use them to moisturize mine and my kids' hair, but I find that in regards to growth of my hair, I have noticed a vast growth, especially with the white one. I don't know if it's because I use, well, duh, I suppose it's because I use this one more, <laughs> where I've noticed the um, increase more. I mean, go and check them out. If you have used them, let me know what you think and if you've noticed any adverse effects or any good effects, then let me know. All right, guys, so those are the four things I've been using. Sorry, this is a quick video, guys. The kids are on school holidays, and I've been running around like a blue bottom fly trying to entertain them. So <laughs> I am depleted for this week. So it's one video this week, guys. I'm sorry, and it's a short video. But if you do have any questions, any comments, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, or leave your messages and comments down below in the comment box. I'll leave details of these products in the description box. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, guys, to so subscribe, then hit the notification bell, and you can see my weekly videos. Thank you for coming back, guys, and watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.